everyone. The purpose of today's video is to demonstrate how to add, configure, and entitle banners in the DWP catalog. We will cover the following topics. I will demonstrate the process of adding, configuring, and creating entitlement for banners in DWP catalog virtual marketplace. I will also demonstrate how to add them in DWP admin console so they appear on the DWP catalog homepage. We will discuss the purpose of promotional banners and the types of banners available. As a final step, I will walk you through how to configure banners in DWP Admin Console. This will allow you to determine where and how banners will be displayed on the DWP Catalog homepage for the end users to see. So let's go ahead and start the demo. The first step is to log in to DWP Catalog as a catalog administrator. In this view, I'm already logged in to DWP Catalog as a catalog administrator. So let's go ahead and add the banners by clicking on services and going to banners. From here, we can click on new banner to add our banners. So let's add our first banner. I'll call this hero banner one. Here you can see there are three types of banners. There's the large hero banner, mobile hero banner, and then small feature banner. The large hero banners are primarily banners that appear at the top of the page. The smaller promotional banners are the ones that are displayed on the bottom of the home page. Then you also have the mobile hero banner, which is used for mobile devices. For this demo, we will add the large and small feature banners. But before that, let's just quickly talk about the purpose of promotional banners. So some common purposes to use banners are for advertising new or updated service offering in the catalog. Um, you can use banners to promote an event and link to its registration site. You can also use banners as a reminders and notifications for important security updates that you want your end users to become aware of. So let's go ahead and add our first hero banner. I'll select this one. <laughs> And then we will go ahead and define its settings. So here there's a target OS, targeted OS section. You can target it to specific operating system. In our example, I will select all of them and click action. Here you can define um, the link to the banner. So you can use an external service. You can use it to link to an existing service request. You can link it to a category or you can just select no action if you don't want to use um, a link on the banner. So for this example, I will use external URL. So I'll just use um, bmc.com. And you can select to open it in a new window or tab. And we'll save this one. So let's add another um, hero banner. And for this um, banner, we will use an existing service to link it to. So I will go ahead and select Access Request and create the link and then save it. And now we will add um, our promotional small banners. So I will select these ones. And again, I will select all OS, select action. I will link all of them um, just for our example to bmc.com. And we'll add two more. Okay, and this is the last small banner that we will use.
Okay. So now that the banners are uploaded and created, the next step is to publish them. So to do that, just click on these three dots and click on publish. Now that the banners are published, our next step is to configure their entitlements. It's important to note that just like services, banners need to be published and then entitled to users in the virtual marketplace in order for users to have access to them. So let's go to the entitlement section and create a new virtual marketplace for our banners. Let's call this promotional banners. We will add the banners to the virtual marketplace. So I will go ahead and select all of them. So just as a note, um, only published banners will appear here. So if your banners are not yet published, they will not be available for entitlement. So I will go ahead and click on Add. And then we will define uh, the entitlements for the virtual marketplace. So there's a few options. You can use ITSM attributes where you can select um, companies or organization to entitle the banners to. Or you can use um, the user section, which will allow you to add specific users from the users directory into the virtual marketplace. For our demo, we will use everyone as we want all the users in the DWP catalog to have access to the promotional banners. And now I will go ahead and click close. And the next step now is to log in to Digital Workplace um, Administrator Console to configure the banners. So here I'm logged in to DWP Admin Console and let's go to Service Request and then go to Catalog Sections. In the Catalog section, we will add a section for our banners. So I will click on Add and specifically select Banners right here. So I will call this one um, Hero Banners and I will select the banners that we just published in uh, the catalog. And here there's a layout option, so I will choose large hero banner because we want these large banners to appear at the top of the page. So I will save that. And then I will add another section for the smaller banners. Um, let's go ahead and add our banners. And then the layout options, we will select banner size as small and save that. This will ensure that the banners appear at the bottom of the page. And the last step in this configuration is to go to the settings. And we add the banner sections into the selected sections so that they appear on the home page. So small promotional banners, and then we have the large hero banners. And let's go ahead and save that. So now our next step is to log in as an end user to the DWP um, catalog homepage to view the banners. So here I am logged in as an end user to the DWP catalog and I will just um, refresh my page to see if I am now able to see the banners. And yes, now we can see the top um, hero banners showing at the top and the smaller banners um, on the bottom. So if you click this banner, it will take us to the linked um, URL. And the second banner, we linked it to a specific service request. So um, when I click on this banner, it will take me to the request details page of that service request. And the same thing for the little promotional banners, it will link to the URL that we defined in the banners um, configuration. And so that's it. Those are the steps to add, configure, and entitle banners in Digital Workplace Catalog and have them appear in DWP Catalog homepage for the end users. 
Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel, BMC Remedy and Discovery, to watch more support videos like this one. Thank you.